What's up, guys? Hi, welcome you to my channel, the Z Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rakyu. I'm reaching you live from Lagos, Nigeria. And in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to withdraw your uh, fund from your factory card on Flutter with your bank account. All you have to do is to watch the step I'm taking in this video and see how you can actually get it done without any stress, okay? But before you get the tutorial started, if you are very new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so whenever I upload content, you get notified and you watch the video. And lastly, but not the least, if you have any question for me as far as today's tutorial is concerned, kindly put your question in the comment section down below and I will be glad to reply to whatsoever question you might have for me, okay? So let's get to the tutorial started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open a new tab from the address bar here. And then um, have to type in, uh, make use of the address bar right here, and then type in flutterwave.com. Okay. So at this point here, you need to log into your uh, dashboard. You have to come here and click on sign in. All right, so here you need to enter your uh, mail address. And you come down below here and enter your password. And you come down below here and click on log into your dashboard. So when you log into your dashboard, you have to navigate to this side here and look for cards. So if you don't know how to create a factual card on a flutter wave, you can check the video on my uh, on my channel. I have a video on how you can create a factual card. So today's tutorial is basically on how you can withdraw the phone from your card to your uh, bank account, whether in uh, you are in Nigeria or any African country you find yourself, and then. Uh, Flutter wave is operating your uh, in your country. Definitely, this is going to work for you as well. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, you can see here I have about two cards right here. Okay, so this one here I'm going to withdraw this uh, this phone here. So I'm going to select the card. So when you select the card, you can see the card information has been displayed. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is to click on uh, more action. So when you click on more action, there are a variety of things you can do with the card. You can freeze the card, you can withdraw from the card and update the card. So in this regard, I'm interested to withdraw from this card. So I'm going to select withdraw from card. So this is going to pump up. Here you need to enter the amount of money you want to withdraw from your card. So in this regard, I'm interested to withdraw such a, so just a, a token of 500 Naira, then you click on withdraw. So you can see amount has been successfully withdrawn from the card. Okay. Now this withdraw here is going to your Flutter Wave account. Okay. So you can see it right here. It's in my Flutter Wave account. So now you can as well move this fund here to your bank account. Okay, all you have to do is to so to move this fund from your uh, Flutter with uh, payment detail, you have to go to your transfer. So from transfer, then you have to come, uh, you need to make sure that you have a, a, you are, the, the money has been reflected in your balance. You can see it here. So the money has been reflected in my balance. If you don't have the fund in your balance, you won't be able to make the transfer. So you need to make sure that the money has been credited to your balance so that that is only when you can initiate a new transfer. So in this regard, I have to click on a new transfer here since I have the fund in my uh, in my balance. So then here, you need to select the option wherever you want to send the money to. So there are different options. You can transfer to your bank account. You can transfer to mobile money. You can transfer to barter account. And you can transfer to a flutter wave account. 
So in this regard, I'm interested to transfer this phone to my Bata account, okay? So I'm going to select Bata account. So when you select Bata account, this is going to pop up. Here, you need to select a single transfer. You can see the balance has been uh, updated already. You can see it here. So this is the balance I have. There are, if you click on this uh, arrow here, you see variety of currency you have in your account. But as, as, it, as at the time here, I'm have uh, I'm, I'm moving this phone to my but account. So you have to select your country. You click on here to choose your country. So I have to scroll down and look for my country. You can see these are the country that. Uh, not how we are in operation, okay? Okay, so this is my country here. So I have to enter my uh, phone number. You can see it here. So, okay, my account has been found. So next thing is to type in the amount of fund I'm going to withdraw. So I have typed it in right here. So uh, I have to scroll down. So finally, you have to click on uh, confirm transfer. Confirm transfer. So, we are going to send code to, uh, you can see, code has been sent. So, you are going to send code to confirm this uh, transaction. So, to your WhatsApp number or to your email account. So, I'm going to enter my code. Then, click on confirm. All right, so this is the status of the transaction we just carried out at this moment. So the transaction is under pending. Within some minutes, they're going to confirm this transaction, which is which will later in turn to a successful transaction. Okay. So you can see the available balance now is uh, this, and uh, which simply means that they have moved some fund from the balance in this uh, account. Now you can see after I refresh this page. The transaction has been successfully uh, carried out, so you can see. So, guys, this is how you can move your phone from your virtual card on Wave without uh, to your bank account without any stress. I hope you guys learned one or two things in this video. If you find this video useful, give the video a big thumb up. And also, you can as well share this video. And if you have some challenges as far as FlutterWave is concerned, I believe so much. I have a lot of video about FlutterWave. Feel free to check it out on my channel and watch all the videos. You'll be able to solve one or two problems you might have with your FlutterWave account. And if you are doing online business, I, uh, you need to just try out FlutterWave. It's the best place, uh, best, best platform to, to receive from anywhere in the world. Thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.